In this video, I'm going to show you two ways on how to use your camera, in this case the Canon M6 Mark II, as a camera for live streaming on YouTube, but also as a camera for online schooling or online business meeting through Skype or Zoom. Coming up. The times that we are in right now, being able to talk to people online is more of a topic than ever. And to be able to do this, you need the technology at home and you need it to be as easy as you can. But even though you want things to be easy, you want the quality of the picture that you are presenting of yourself online to be okay. Now, what's in the picture, that's up to you, but you want the quality of the picture to be okay. Most people today have a crappy web camera on their computers. Most of those webcams aren't even in full HD. Most of those camera are just at 720p. So if you want some better quality on your picture, another camera is needed. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your mirrorless camera. And in this case, my Canon M6 Mark II in particular, on how you can use that camera to be a webcam or to be the camera that puts the image out to the other people. So for the longest time, to be able to put the picture from your camera into your computer and onto the online streaming service that you are using, this has been a costly thing to do because until now you have been needing a capture card to be able to do this. And these capture cards have been way up there when it comes to price. But there are capture cards that don't cost that much. And I recently picked up one of those capture cards for myself and I'm gonna show you how that capture card works. And I'm gonna put the link in the description down below on where I found that capture card. I think it was on eBay and it only costs about 14, 15 bucks. So compared to the higher end capture cards, this is a steal and it works quite okay. So if you want to buy that capture card too, just click that link in the description down below. And for a long time, this was the only way to do this, but Canon released the EOS webcam utility in a beta version quite some time ago, and you probably have heard of this already, but now the Windows version of that EOS webcam utility is now out of beta. It's an official version out there, so you can download that for your Windows computer, but for the Mac users out there, there's still just the beta version. But I do suspect that the Mac version of that program will be finalized and put out there in the nearest future. So these are the two ways that I'm gonna show you in this video how to go live with your Canon M6 Mark II. So first of all, let's take the capture card and see how you do that. So to be able to do this, you need the capture card, and this is the capture card that I was talking about, the cheap one for 14, 15 bucks. With this, you also need a HDMI cable, and I need a micro HDMI to a full size HDMI. And that's because the Canon M6 Mark II has a micro HDMI output. So what you do is you connect the HDMI cable to your camera, and then you connect the HDMI cable to the capture card. And now you just put this in your computer. So when your camera is connected to the computer through the HDMI cable and the capture card, you now go into YouTube and then you do the same as you were going to upload a video, a pre-recorded video, but now you go on to the go live. And now you get into the live streaming page of YouTube. The first thing you do, you create a title for your upcoming live stream. Now, and this is going to be called test live stream. I'm gonna have this set to private, but if you want to live stream to public, you can press public. But for me now, this is going to be private. You can also schedule a live stream for later. You just hit this button and then set what kind of 
date and time you want your live stream to start. To be able to use your camera as the camera for the live stream, you now have to go into more options. And as you can see, the camera that has been selected for me is my webcam up here in the corner of my computer. So this is what the webcam is seeing. But I don't want to use the webcam for this live stream. I want to use my Canon M6 Mark II. And to be able to do that, I turn on my camera and then I change this from the built-in webcam to the USB camera, which is my Canon M6 Mark II. And now you can see that the Canon M6 Mark II has been selected. You can also see that the information on the screen on the camera is being projected onto the live stream picture. But I don't want this. What I want is a clean picture on the live stream from my camera. So what I have to do is I have to go into the menu system of my camera in the red section, the camera section, and then over to tab number five. And here you can see that I have the option of changing my HDMI info display. Now, what I want this to be is a clean output and you can choose if you want to have a 4K output or a full HD output. For this, I'm going to use a full HD output, but you choose whatever you want. And now you see that all the information that was in the picture the first time is now gone. And now I have a clean HDMI out for my live stream. I got a question in the comment section a while ago, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to answer that question before now, or do this video before now. But the question was if, when using the clean HDMI out, if you're able to see anything on your screen on the camera. Here is my Canon M6 Mark II with the HDMI cable going out. And as you can see, I can see everything. Even I can even see the camera focusing on my face. Now that we have a second way of live streaming without using any capture card at all, using our camera is all thanks to Canon. Because Canon released the EOS webcam utility. This is a program that makes you able to connect your camera and live stream with your camera just through the USB connection on your camera and your computer. You have to download the EOS webcam utility from Canon. Just Google Canon EOS webcam utility download and probably on top you will get the EOS webcam utility download from the American webpage. Now the Windows EOS webcam utility that's the finished product, it's out of beta, it's out there, it's real. Now, the Mac version is still in beta and what's interesting is that it's only available on the American Canon webpage. If you go into the European webpage and scroll down, all you see is that the Mac version will be available soon. But if you go into the American webpage and scroll down, here you can download the beta version of this program. So, so if you're a Mac user and you want to use this now, you have to use the beta version. So just click on whatever version of Mac OS you have and then download the EOS webcam beta version. When you've done this, this is all you need, or at least this is all I need for my Canon M6 Mark II. I need a USB-C connection to a normal USB-C. So what you do is you connect the USB-C cable to the camera and now we do the same that we did before. You go into YouTube, you click go live, you turn on your camera and what probably happens when you turn on your camera when you have your USB-C cable connected to the camera is that the EOS Utility 3 program will pop up by its own. But what's important is that you close this program to be able to get the webcam program to work. So now we close that program. And now again, live stream test. And as you see in the background here, this is the uh, webcam that's in uh, the picture. 
And now we click on the EOS webcam utility beta. And now it's my camera that's showing the picture on the live stream. What's interesting now is that I didn't have to go into my camera and click on the clean HDMI out setting because we're not using the HDMI, we are using the USB-C connection. Now the downside to this cable is that if you want to use this cable to show how you change settings in your camera and whatnot, this doesn't give you the information that's on the screen on your camera, so you can't record that on your computer. But for a live stream, that's all you need. And this setup, for my part, with OS Catalina, this setup also works with all of this. But what's important to take notice of is that with Skype, WebEx and Zoom, it's only the browser version that's available with this system. So that's the video for this week. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give me a like in the section down below of this video. That would really help my channel and this video a lot. And if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this, a subscription would be highly appreciated. And um, if you do that, click that bell notification too, then you will get a notification every time I come out with a new video. So that's it for this week. Maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.